Insects rarely cause positive emotion in anyone, especially when it comes to bees, which decide to cling to a car. Or, for example, the whole ant army that built a bridge out of their own bodies. And these are just the beginning. And in this episode, you'll see the most frightening insect and spider moments ever caught on camera. Let's go. Invasion of houses. Living in Australia does not necessarily mean that you can avoid the wild forests and stay away from different living creatures. In fact, sometimes these creatures can find their way into your home without your permission, which is not uncommon. Due to the weather patterns in Sydney, such as heavy rains and high humidity, spiders have been forced to seek shelter inside people's homes. Interestingly, not only do they take refuge there, but they also lay eggs. This phenomenon occurs during rainy weather as it provides an opportune environment for the spider's offspring to thrive. If they were to lay eggs during a drought, it would put the baby spiders at risk of not having enough water and potentially dying. Ant Bridge Ant colonies are something very cool. These guys share all sorts of responsibilities from creating chains to transport food to building and caring for their young. It might seem like there's nothing ants can do to surprise people anymore, but no not so long ago, people began to notice, more often, how these insects form the living bridges needed to rescue congeners from difficult situations or invade the possessions of other insects. But how do they do it? Well, it turns out there's a special algorithm. The ant running ahead sees the end of the path in front of it and freezes. The ants running behind it continue to run along its back. As long as the ant senses that its congeners are running along its back, it remains motionless. This rule applies to all ants in the colony. After all, when they step over a congener, they too see an abyss ahead and freeze in place in the same way. Thus, the whole colony running over each other's backs forms a long living bridge. Bee Man I have discovered a fascinating character called the Bee Man, and I believe his story would make an excellent superhero movie. The way he interacts with bees is truly impressive. With the help of body language and gestures, he allows the bees to crawl on top of him, and they peacefully settle down over his entire body without biting him. There are thousands of insects on him at the same time, but they all remain comfortable and obedient. The bee man is like a queen bee to them that they need to guard. It's incredible to imagine meeting such a person on the street. Would you take a picture with him or at least say hello? Lots of bees. Warning, you're about to see a lot of bees. Very, very, very many bees. These insects formed one big bunch right in the tree next to the author of the following video. I thought the guy would just film them and that'd be the end of it, but it turns out that wasn't enough. He started ruining their idol by first taking some of the congeners to the ground and then shaking a branch and knocking over every last insect. How does it work in the first place? When I accidentally disturb just one bee, it immediately flies after me and gives me no peace. Here, the guy hurts thousands of bees and they don't care. It's like they don't even notice him. They took over the car. It seems that the guy in the previous video had a similar strategy to drive away bees from their territory while also collecting some of them. This was to prevent the insects from attaching themselves to his car, which would have been much harder to remove. However, in the following video, a man got into trouble when he came out of the store and saw that the back of his car was almost completely covered in bees. It's unclear how many bees were there or how they got stuck to the car in the first place, but the man took the necessary precautions and carefully removed the bees. It's surprising how he wasn't afraid to do this. He didn't wait until the end of the operation, got into the car and drove away, hoping that the remaining bees would fall off during the ride. What is that? Next, we have a huge and creepy, unpleasant creature called the Giant African Centipede. An alternative name, by the way, is Chongololo. Although this creature doesn't seem so at all, it's harmless and doesn't show aggression towards humans. It tolerates captivity well, quickly becomes docile, and allows itself to be picked up. Before us is a representative of African millipedes, which is distinguished mainly by its nocturnal lifestyle. During the day, these creatures, if we're talking about in the wild, rest in their hiding places, safe safely hidden from the heat and the sun's rays. They go out in search of food in the twilight and feed leisurely until dawn. Their eyesight is very poor, so they have to rely on their sense of touch and smell. They learn the world around them by touch, using their antenna and legs. They manage to find partners for reproduction and exchange information with their own kind through smells and pheromones. Would you dare to hold such a centipede in your hands? Or you don't need it? write in the comments. And how do you like this? After watching the previous video, I never thought I would see anything as unpleasant or terrifying as that. 
However, this creature seems to be even worse. It is much larger and has pronounced paws that look extremely creepy. Does anyone else feel uneasy while watching this clip? It appears as if the centipede is about to bite someone's hand or even jump on the camera. Yikes. Let's move on. Delicious breakfast. What's considered one of the classic breakfasts? That's right, anything with eggs in it. Boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, and so on. It seems there's nothing new to come up with, no matter what kind of topping you choose, but chefs from a Chinese university have a different opinion on this matter. They decided to add ants to the eggs to see what happens. You'd be surprised, but the students love this innovation and happily asked for more. Either the Chinese are a little strange or I don't understand something. Write in the comments. Would you taste such a breakfast? Fight. Encountering spiders on the ceiling at home is not unusual. Usually, people try not to disturb them, and the spiders mind their own business and eventually disappear. However, in this particular case, things were different. Two spiders faced each other and began to fight, testing each other's fighting skills. The battle was intense, but in less than a minute, the spider that was below decided to retreat. It was probably a territorial dispute, and now the person recording the video is standing there, thinking, well, that's interesting. One of the spiders has taken over the ceiling of my house. It's their territory now. It's quite fascinating to witness this kind of behavior in spiders. Don't sleep on the porch. The story that happened to the girl in the following video is truly frightening. She was resting on her porch doing nothing special when suddenly something or someone disturbed her. The girl woke up to see what had happened, but no one was there. However, she felt some kind of pain in her ear and then in her head in general. The girl went to the hospital, where it turned out that she had a spider in her ear. Not the biggest one, but still. Doctors immediately began to help her, poured a special solution into her ear, and lured the nasty creature out. In any case, all's well that ends well. Both the girl and the spider survived, so everyone was happy. Why isn't the music playing? You grab your headphones, put them on, and notice that something's not right. The music isn't playing, and the headphones feel uncomfortable. You decide to investigate and take a closer look. To your surprise, you find a spider hidden inside the ear cups. Luckily, it didn't bite you while you were wearing the headphones. House of Spiders Remember at the beginning of the video, I showed you an example from Australia when spiders weren't shy at all and crawled into the nearest house to wait out the rain. Well, something similar happened in London, only the spiders didn't do it out in the face of the day. They snuck inside the house, crawled into the basement and weaved a little web. Then the older spiders laid their eggs on it and went about their business. Well, there were no adult spiders. People found this thing. And actually, it's not clear whether they decided to do something about it or not. Since construction was going on in the building where the video was taken, the webs were probably just torn up. He likes to put everything in his mouth. Normally, when people see various nasty creatures in person, they're squeamish about even touching them. But a man in the following video is the direct opposite of this behavior. The man decided to show the world that not only is he not afraid to touch spiders, he doesn't even mind putting them in his mouth. Right here, his tongue is open, and shall I say, exposed. Any bite would have been insanely painful and unpleasant, but that didn't scare the man into placing three spiders in his mouth at once. If you think that's the end of his tricks, you're wrong. In addition to those small spiders, he also had a millipede and a large tarantula in his mouth. That's all, guys. Which moment did you find the most frightening? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.